Okay, so here's a short video demonstrating the effect of uh, shungite on electric fields. Uh, a lot of people say this stone is very good for uh, EMFs, that it absorbs the EMFs. So let's do some testing. Here's a piece of shungite. This is a phone sticker. And this is an EM fields um, power frequency tester. It tests for power frequency, magnetic fields and electric fields. And I'm just using this um, uh, laptop here just to give you an idea. Now it's not switched on so we won't get much of a magnetic field from it because it's not running. A uh, magnetic field you only get when the thing's powered up. However there is power in the cable here so if I switch to electric fields you'll see we're uh, over uh, 200 volts per meter there. So let me just put a bit of shungite in here and there you will notice there is a drop in the uh, voltage so it's dropped down now to, um, what's that, about 90 volts per meter. So, uh, yeah, so you think there's something happening there. But if I just put my hand in front of it, you get the same thing. Even a finger. What's happening is that because I am holding the shunga in my hand, I'm actually earthing the electric field here. The, <coughs> the voltage is passing to uh, the earth through my feet, through my body. So if I put the shungai on top of where the power supply goes in, you see we have no difference whatsoever. There is still the same reading of uh, 200 volts. So I'll try this with another meter. Here's another uh, EM fields one. And again, this is the uh, magnetic field we're measuring here. And here's the electric field. You about 200 at that position there. So here's the piece of shungite. It drops down to about 60. Back up to 200 or so. Uh, put my hand in. Same thing. Actually drops further with my hand than the shungite. And there's the finger. So all I'm doing is earthing the fields here. The Shunga is having no effect whatsoever. I got one more meter here. This is the Cornet electrosmog meter. I'll just switch it into uh, ELF mode. So again, we're measuring volts per meter here. And I'll try and get a bit the same there. It's about 200, which is what we had on the uh, other meter. And with the Shunga. drops down quite a bit on this one with my finger. Same thing. Oh. Shunga makes no difference to the electric field whatsoever. So I hope that's uh, pretty conclusive that Shunga does nothing to reduce your EMF exposure. Okay, in the second part of the video, we're going to be testing the effect of shungite against uh, pulsed microwave frequency radiation, such as you get from your Wi-Fi router, uh, your mobile phone, and your cordless phone in the house. Uh, now, this beast here is a British Telecom Home Hub 2, which is one of their earlier models, and it transmits a Wi-Fi signal as well as a decked cordless phone signal because um, you can have a hub phone that runs over the uh, internet with it which was the main reason I actually replaced it fairly shortly after they installed it because I didn't really want that. Um, this is the EM Fields Acoustimeter, very good meter for testing microwave radiation and if I switch it on you can see we've got very high readings here. The peak on the left here is practically off the chart and uh, the average on the right here is well into the amber. Now the buzzing noise you hear, that is a decked cordless phone signal because the hub is looking for a phone. Uh, the lights are flashing because it's looking for a Wi-Fi signal. Uh, it's not actually transmitting Wi-Fi yet because I've just switched it on. Probably also because my um, other router is plugged into the same network. But let's just see if uh, Shungite has any effect on these frequencies. Remember, these are pulse microwave frequencies. Uh, you're talking a uh, 2.4 gigahertz band here. So um, here's a piece of Shungite. Again, if I hold it in front, nothing, no effect whatsoever. I put it on top of the router, nothing. 
a little bit. And then I put it on the device. Still nothing. I'll just try the other piece here. Here is the um, Cornet PF88. And you see we're well into the uh, off the chart here. And again, here's with the Shungite. See, there's no change. Put it on. No change. Now the reason you saw a change in the first part of this test is because we were measuring an electric field and my hand was able to block it by uh, grounding the field to earth because the meter measures the field in respect to my body uh, which is why with these handheld meters you have to hold one you can't just put them down to get a, an accurate reading Now you see the Shungite's having no effect here uh, I would put it on my mobile phone and show it to you except I'm actually filming this with the mobile phone so I uh, can't really do that just now Anyway, Shungite does nothing for EMFs. <laughs>